Ever thought about what makes your car go vroom? Holy Look at all this damage! It's all about combustion. Inside your car's engine, there are thousands of tiny explosions every minute that turn fuel into power. Let's take a look at how this combustion process works and keeps your car running smoothly. Ready to learn? Let's get started. What is combustion? Combustion is a chemical reaction in which fuel burns in the presence of oxygen, releasing energy. In car engines, this reaction is carefully controlled to convert chemical energy into mechanical energy. It happens in the combustion chamber, a confined space where fuel and air mix in precise ratios. To get a clearer picture, let's explore the four-stroke cycle, which is fundamental to most car engines. The four-stroke cycle. Most car engines operate on the four-stroke cycle, intake, compression, combustion, and exhaust, also known as the auto cycle. Here's a breakdown of each stroke. Intake. First up is the intake. The piston starts at the top of the cylinder and moves down, creating a vacuum that draws in a mixture of air and fuel through the open intake valve. Compression. Next, we move to compression. Once the piston reaches the bottom, the intake valve closes. The piston then moves up, compressing the air-fuel mixture. This compression heats up the mixture, making it more volatile for ignition. Combustion. Now comes combustion. As the piston approaches the top again, the spark plug fires, igniting the compressed mixture. This causes a rapid expansion of gases, pushing the piston down. This power stroke converts chemical energy into mechanical energy. Exhaust. Finally, we have exhaust. When the piston reaches the bottom, the exhaust valve opens. The piston moves up, pushing out the exhaust gases and clearing the cylinder for the next cycle. This cycle repeats thousands of times per minute in a running engine. For example, in a four-cylinder engine running at 3,000 RPM, the spark plugs fire 6,000 times each minute. Understanding this cycle leads us to the critical components that make it all happen. Now that we've got a handle on how the four-stroke cycle works, let's talk about the key components that make it all tick. Key components. First up, we have the fuel injectors. These precision devices spray fuel into the combustion chamber. Modern systems adjust the fuel amount and timing based on factors like engine speed and load. Next, let's talk about the valves. Valves control the flow of gases in and out of the cylinder. There are intake valves that let air and fuel in, and exhaust valves that let the spent gases out. Getting the timing of these valves just right is crucial for keeping the engine running smoothly. Moving on, we have the spark plug. This component ignites the fuel by providing an electric spark. The timing of the spark, controlled by the engine's computer, is critical for optimal combustion. Now, let's not forget the piston. Attached to the crankshaft by a connecting rod, the piston moves up and down within the cylinder, converting the energy from combustion into mechanical motion that actually makes the car go. And finally, there's the crankshaft. This rotating shaft transforms the piston's linear motion into rotational motion, which ultimately powers the vehicle's wheels. It's what gets all that engine power to your tires. These components work together seamlessly to keep your engine running and your car on the road. The combustion chamber. Building on the key components we've just discussed, let's zoom in on the combustion chamber, the heart of the action. This is where all the magic happens, with fuel burning to produce power. Chamber's design is crucial for how efficiently the engine performs. Factors like its shape, size, and spark plug placement all affect fuel combustion. Modern engines often use a pent roof design to improve fuel distribution and flame spread. So the combustion chamber isn't just a part of the engine. It's a key player in making sure everything runs smoothly and efficiently. Power and Efficiency Next, let's talk about engine power and efficiency. Engine efficiency is measured by thermal efficiency, how well the engine converts fuel energy into useful work. 
Modern gasoline engines typically have thermal efficiencies of 20 to 35 percent, while diesel engines can reach up to 45 percent. To optimize efficiency, modern engines use advanced computer-controlled systems to adjust fuel injection, ignition timing, and valve timing in real time based on various sensors. Temperature management. Combustion generates immense heat with temperatures in the combustion chamber exceeding 2,000 degrees Celsius, 3,632 degrees Fahrenheit. Without a cooling system, this heat could quickly damage the engine. To manage this, the engine's cooling system uses a water and antifreeze mixture that circulates through the engine block and cylinder head. This system absorbs heat and releases it through the radiator. Maintaining the right temperature is crucial for engine efficiency and longevity. Thank you for tuning into Physics Daily. We hope this dive into car combustion has illuminated the science behind your vehicle's power. For more insights into the physics of our world, subscribe to our channel Physics Daily. Until next time, keep exploring and learning.